Salt Air Heating and Cooling. Well, behind yesterday's cold front, it was a much cooler day. And as that sun begins to set, those temperatures are dropping. Looking at temperatures in the lower 60s to upper 50s across the area. And versus this time yesterday, we are anywhere between 7 and 10 degrees cooler than we were just yesterday. So we are really starting to feel the effects of that front. And as we head into the day tomorrow, we're going to continue to be that way. But here is that front it's well offshore. And as we head into the rest of the week, we're going to see this high pressure from the west start to build in. And that will leave us with a really nice and cooler weather as the week goes on. So unlike last week, these cooler temperatures behind that front are going to stick with us all the way through the end of the week Going to be below average all the way through Friday. So if you are a fan of fall weather, you are really going to like this week's forecast. But here's a look at our evening planner. We're going to be with mostly cloudy skies to start, but as the evening goes on, we're going to see those clouds start to break a little bit, leaving us with partly cloudy skies throughout the overnight hours, getting into the lower middle 50s as we go into the later part of the evening, but we eventually will drop down into those lower 50s to even upper 40s in some spots. Looking at upper 40s there in White Lake. Overall, a chilly night. Middle 50s on the beaches here on those east beaches, but flirting with those upper 40s in Berga as well. So as we head into the overnight, again, going to start to see those clouds to break up, leaving us with mostly sunny skies to start the day tomorrow, and that's just really what we can expect as the day goes on. Could see a few clouds here and there throughout the day, but for the most part, a really nice stay on tap tomorrow. Feeling like fall starting out cool in the lower 50s. So grab your jacket out the door and upper 60s for our highs again tomorrow with mostly sunny skies and really no chance for rain. So going to see those middle and upper 60s on the beaches as well as inland and really not seeing much change on our south beaches and our inland spots here, but feeling really nice and fall like. So here's a look at our future cast as we head into Tuesday. So there is that high pressure from the west that's going to start to build in as we go into the day on Tuesday and into Wednesday and throughout the rest of the week. So that high pressure is really going to hold out all the way through Thursday, leaving us nice and dry, but Friday and the day on Saturday, we're going to see rain chances increase ahead of our next cold front that we will see uh, move through the area again this weekend. Kind of sound like a broken record with that. Kind of had the same forecast here for the last couple of weeks, but let's talk tropics. Things are fairly quiet right now. We have one named system that is losing energy and you know could be not a tropical cyclone as we head throughout the rest of the day today and into next week. And then we have this one area of development here that has an 80% chance of development over the next seven days. So that could become a tropical depression as we head into the week, but keeping you updated as that forecast develops. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Nice and dry and cool weather all the way through Thursday until rain chances increase ahead of our next cold front into next weekend. But overall, it's a really fall like forecast. I was going to say, now this is the kind of October forecast that I'm talking about.